Nice, simple little LED torch. Um, yeah, I got these from Amazon. Twin pack, £14 for two. Yeah, keep watching. I'm going to do a quick review on these. YouTubers, it's uh, Steve here, okay, Catanonia, and welcome to another air gunology video. This channel will do a whole load of air rifles, air pistols, and technology reviews. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, check out our videos, leave some comments. Also, down in the video description, we've got a Facebook group that's about four months old now, and uh, it's a really, really good group. Lots of good, friendly advice in there. But today, we're on to technology, and in particular, these little torches here from Wow Light. Um, really, really nice little torches that I got from Amazon. So I brought this myself, um, and I was quite impressed with it. And I thought, why not? Let's put a quick video together. So um, yeah, like I said, check out the video descriptions down below, because in there, you'll see where you can get these from if you want to. If not, have a look around, and you might find something else that you like. But I got these, because I thought they were quite good. So I've got a load of torches, um, and anyone that's into air rifles, field sports, you just seem to collect these torches all over the time. But I just wanted something really simple, lightweight, easy in the hand for walking the dog. I don't want something that's going to spotlight the next town, or potentially, if you point it in the air, burning IIS out of the sky. I didn't want something like that. I wanted something nice and simple that I literally was zoomable, that I could use for walking the dog, a bit of a floodlight, or if the dog goes off a couple of hundred meters away from me, that I could just zoom in and catch hold of him. So I was doing a lot of searching around, and you'll find hundreds of these torches on, on Amazon and eBay and other places like that. You'll be looking all over the place and you'll get confused. And this is really for those people that are not quite sure. So I'm leaving some product links around, some pictures of it. But um, these were quite nice. Um, it, this one is a wow light. Um, it's probably a Chinese copy. It's advertised as being on TV. Whatever, ignore all of that lot. I eventually, I think it took me about an hour or so to find something and I thought, why not give this a go? Um, and the one thing that sort of got me on this one really was, um, it's nine quid, uh, nine pound, UK pounds, but you can actually get two of them for 14 pounds or three of them for 20 pounds. Now, so I plumped for the twin pack and the reason behind that is that basically I could have one in my pocket um, that I've got and then it's there for dog walking and I've given one to Abby my wife So she can have it in her handbag during the winter months when she's walking to and from her car and absolute worst case If one of them breaks then yeah, you know, I can just have the other one back off her and um, Or just buy them again they're 14 quid. So well, how are they how they all work? Well, they've got in here What's called the Cree and that's C-R-E-E -E XML LED in there and that's a square LED very very powerful LED It's got one of them in there and that's the latest technology, basically, these torches are using in there. Um, and it's powered by a 18650 battery. So you may be familiar with these batteries. Let's take a look in here. Here's the battery itself. It's one of those type batteries. And anyone that's into the electric cigarettes will know about these batteries. Again, I'll leave some links for the UK guys where you can get the batteries. You guys in America, I'll leave you to source your own. But basically, that slot's in there. Now, you can, if you want to, power this by free AAA batteries. They give you a little adapter. I'll leave a picture of that. I think if you look in the top right of that picture, you'll see the adapter. You can put free AAA batteries in there, slot that in there as a cartridge, and put the end cap on. Um, I do not recommend that. You will waste those batteries very, very quickly. Um, it does come with a tube like this, which you then slot in your... Um, 18650 battery, those are the ones I recommend you use. That slots in there, and then the end caps just simply screws over the top on there. Um, you will need to buy batteries for this. So the UK guys, I've left you a link down below for some batteries and a charger, but your standard little chargers like this, um, your battery in there, and you'll need, and then you charge them up. They last for a long time, these batteries. They're pretty good. But you will need to buy batteries for these because they do not, do not come with batteries or a charger, okay? And hence the reason why it's such a cheap price. But most of you guys probably got those batteries lying around. If not, check the links down below. But it's really nice. It's made out of aluminium, um, so it's nice and light. Um, it's fairly good quality. You know, it's not the best quality out there, but it's good enough. I'm absolutely 
happily impressed with that as well. It's got um, a removable end cap on it on here. Now this end cap is um, so that you could actually get in there and change the pill in there. So you can actually change how this light works and get new pills, different types of pills, different colors if you want, for those that are really into it. Uh, and there's the focus ring uh, LED uh, lens on the end. Um, they advertise that you can actually use this if this is in your car and you get stuck in your car, you can smash windows with it. Yeah, useful, I suppose, on that. Um, but a really nice thing about it is it's zoomable and it's dead easy to zoom. Literally, just pull it in, pull it out, and obviously that gives you floodlight or a focused square beam. And I find this extremely useful because it's nice and easy. I can just do it with my finger like this. So I'm walking a dog, and as the dog's walking close to me, I can press the button, it's light, I've got a floodlight, and as he walks away, I can just follow him and zoom with him like like so. And I can, I've can i taken this out across into my fields in the pitch black walking the dog, and this actually works out on spotlights up to about 200, maybe a little bit further meters. Super, super impressed. I'm actually also leaving a video running at the moment now uh, where I've done this, where it's been absolutely lovely and nice and dark outside. It's really difficult to film this sort of thing on a mobile phone, but I've tried it. It gives you the idea of the flood patterns, the different patterns you get with this, but you have to take it from me. This does actually work out quite well. It does give you a good floodlight um, in your wider zoom out to about 20, 20, five meters nicely lights up the area and then as you zoom in you can get that square patch zoom right in um, out to about 200 meters no problems at all obviously it does depend on how dark it is how foggy it is but yeah very very impressed with that to power it on it's just a simple little button at the back you press it once um, and then what you've got is free brightness levels. So if you just half press it, it drops down the brightness levels. So there's your free brightness levels. You press it one more time, it gives you a strobe effect. Um, and then basically, if you press it one more time, it's got a nice little feature, which is an SAOS dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. So really nice little features. Press it again, and then you cycle back around. Press the button in and hold it all the way in, switches the unit off. So really, really nice, quite powerful, quite bright. 14 pounds for two, 20 pounds for three of them, absolutely brilliant. All you gotta do is add batteries. Um, so yeah, why do I like it? Why well, I put this video together? Well, number one is it's cheap, dead cheap, yeah. Really, really handy, just, you can just leave these around. One in the garage, one in the house, one in the coat for dog walking, one in the car, yeah, dead easy to do that. Nice construction, aluminium, nice thing. I've dropped this a couple of times, not too many problems with that. It's got an luminous end on it, which is really useful actually, especially if you got it in the car or in your pocket or you dropped it, it's really useful having this luminous end. I think you'll get a green one, maybe a red one, it depends on what they send you on there. Straps already included and fitted, really, really handy. I love the way that it's simple focus, none of this screwing in and screwing out, nice and simple focus like so. Um, it's brilliant for dog walking or just general usage where you don't need something that's gonna light up your neighbor from four million miles away, you don't need that. And it's not in an intrusive light, so when you're dog walking, but if you want that power, you've got the power for the zoom, really, really nice. The only downsides of it is, like I said, it doesn't come with batteries, so you've got to supply your own batteries. Obviously, it's not the brightest torch for £9 for a single one, £14 for double. You're not getting a top-end battery, etc. You're not going to be, you know, blasting the moon with it. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. It's perfect for dog walking. Maybe even for a bit of lamping um, out to uh, air gun range, maybe. Um, you could use that. So Certainly, I will use one of these when I'm out ratting around the farmyard just to spot eye shine. Um, I could use it for that. It's absolutely brilliant for that. The, one of the downsides about it, and I will admit this, is all of these torches, these cheap ones are like this, is that when you switch it on, it does not remember the mode you're in. So let's get this, um, let's put this in the flash mode. So if I switch off now, and I switch on, it's now gone to the next mode. So that's a downside, that is a definite downside, but you'll find that with a lot of these batch, these torches, especially the cheap ones. They're all made by roughly the same company, they're all rebranded, but this is a good one, I like it. And of course, yeah, like I said before, it is not the most powerful or the best torch. You can spend fortunes, you can spend up to 400 pound on torches like this, um, but if you want something good, cheap, try one, it's really good. 
So anyway, like I said, a really quick review for you there. I brought these and I thought I'd bring them to you and give you a quick review. If you're after one of these, then I recommend them. They work fairly well. The reviews on the YouTube, on the Amazon link seem to be pretty good, generally pretty good. There have been a few cases where they've turned up broken. You do it for Amazon, you just send it back. Simple as that. They're great, absolutely brilliant. So hopefully you like uh, this quick video. Um, leave me comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Consider being a Patreon. There's a link up there at the end of the video where you can click that and help the channel out on there. Don't forget the Amazon shop that I'll leave a link down below. Um, everything that I review, I put on there as well so that you know your quick, simple places where you can get them. Let me know which torches do you use? Have you tried one of these? Which cheap ones do you recommend? Um, leave all the links down below and I'll catch you on the next video.